awakening ourselves in our comfortable seat. So taking the hands to rest, one on top of the other, gently with the palms facing up. Roll the shoulders back and down and away from the ears and grow the spine long and tall. No rigidity in the body, just an alertness. Closing the eyes and drawing your attention inwards. And then noticing and feeling the flow of the breath. Feeling the breath flow through you. In and out through the nostrils. Feeling all of the sensations around the breath. Chest rising, shoulders gently lifting up and down. Noticing how the rib cage widened to the sides. The rise and fall of the abdomen. Maybe the change in temperature in the nostrils and in the throat. Breathing in cool air. Inviting cool, fresh morning air into the nose. Filling the lungs, filling the abdomen. Holding the breath, just a brief, brief moment and then letting go, releasing the breath out, warmer air. So lengthening the breath now, extending the breath. Deep breaths in, long exhales. Let's take three healing breaths now. So breathing in, bright light. Hold it there. And then exhaling, darkness and negativity out. Breathing in, compassion. Hold it. And then exhaling judgment, letting go. Inhaling deeply, peace. Exhaling, completely letting go of fear. Noticing the breath flow through you, feeling your sit bones on your seat, on your mat, on your cushion, on your block, feeling yourself fully grounded and in this moment, one breath at a time, choosing now your mantra, or your intention for today, towards yourself or your practice or the day, your life, whatever resonates deeply with you. Look within and see your intention. I am, fill in your intention and repeat it silently to yourself a few times. Slowly opening up the eyes. Good morning, if anyone's joined me. Good morning, Melissa. <laughs> Hi. Yes, it's so dark. <laughs> it is so dark, yes, and it gets darker by the week as we head through December, doesn't it? We're heading towards the darkest day. So now let's do a little wrist health. So coming... On to all fours. Taking the hands beneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers wide so the hands shoulder distance apart. 
checking the knees or under the hips and the feet, pressing onto the floor, so not tucking the toes, pressing the shins and the tops of the feet into the floor. Let's start by circling our heart around our hands. So big circle with the chest, the heart around the hands. Let's do five in one direction. You can go as big or as small as you feel ready, but noticing the weight into each hand. So maybe it's as you go towards one hand with your circle, a little bit more weight in that one, and then the other, taking it the other way. So the hips also moving forwards, around, and sides. Flowing in with the breath as you bring yourself forwards and exhaling as you send your hips and heart back. So taking five nice big slow circles with your breath. Then coming back to center. So now facing the hands outwards. So wrists in, fingers out, spread the fingers wide. Let's rock from side to side. And now begin to engage into the abdominal area. So scooping your belly in and up. Good morning, Udiyana Bandha. A little squeeze into Mula Bandha, pelvic floor. Wake that one up to your perineum or the anal lock, depending on your gender. <laughs> and then coming onto your knees, face your fingers backwards as you turn the palms of the hands up. So rotate the inner creases of your elbows forwards and then gently apply, very gently apply a little weight into the hands. Go carefully. It's still early. Body's cold. It's woken up. Then release the hands. Give them a shake out. Drawing your fists together. So if, um, knuckles touch, fists together, and then draw the tops of the hands down, press the tops of the hands down whilst keeping the fists clenched as much as possible, and then attempt to straighten up the arms. Feel a lovely stretch in the forearms, the front of the wrist extensors. Hold it here for another count of five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands, give them a shake out. Walking your hands forwards, let's take a little gentle puppy pose. Nothing too dramatic yet. So sending the hips, keeping the hips high, reaching the hands forward, scoop the belly up, drop the forehead to the mat. Trying to push your armpits down. Keep the belly lifted. Five more breaths. Then push into the hands. Start to tuck the tailbone under and push between the shoulder blades. Push the shoulder blades apart it's like you're coming halfway up. Then hold it there. Might feel a little quivering action going on. Engaging into those muscles. Then exhale, go back down to your puppy pose. A couple of breaths. Then inhale, tuck the tailbone under. Then lift a little bit higher up this time, just a bit higher. Go as high as you can go without moving your arms and legs out of position. So pushing the shoulder blades apart, pressing into the hand, scoop the belly up. A little higher, and then walk your hands towards you. Give your hands a little shake out. I think it's time to take the jumper off. Getting warm already. So now we're going to tuck our toes and come into a gentle downward facing dog, pedaling out the legs. So checking the hands, spread the fingers wide, lift the hips up, 
start to pedal out the legs. Clicking out any joints in the ankles, in the toes. Then wagging your tail side to side. Lifting up onto the tippy toes. That little lift up. Stretch the heels down. And now walk your feet forwards out to maybe a foot's length. And then take your feet wider than your mat. So now your hands and feet are closer together. Take your left hand to your right ankle and stretch your chest. To pull, pull your chest towards the, um, your thigh, your right thigh, and look up to the sky. Steady ujjayi, breaths in and out. Scoop the belly up, keep engaging into the abdominal area. Take your left hand back down to the mat, right hand reaches across outer ankle of the left foot. Chest reaches round, looking beyond the left armpit up to the sky. Two more breaths. Inhale. Take your hands forward. And now walk your feet up to your hands. Clasp your opposite elbows. Hang in ragdoll and generously bend into the knees if you feel that's what you need to do to start. Release the tension of the neck by nodding the head yes. Shake your head no. And then draw some lovely circles with the nose. Release the hands and begin to sway the arms, the fingertips brushing the earth in Glorious semicircles, painting the earth with golden light colours of the sunrise. Then scooping the belly up, start to engage into your belly. Let's begin to roll ourselves up to standing. Keep your feet tip distance apart, roll the shoulders back. Open the chest, little back bend, so hips forwards, heart lifts. Then exhale, roll your shoulders forward, slide your hands down your legs. Exhale. Inhale, scoop the belly, roll yourself up. Slide the hands up the legs, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Send the hips a little bit forwards. Exhale, roll the shoulders forward, scoop the belly in. Forward fold, down over the legs gently. Don't have to lock out the knees, you can soften into the knees. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, rolling up. Open the chest, maybe a little back bend, just a gentle one. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale to roll up. And then exhale, roll down. Inhale, bring the tail to your feet a little bit closer together. Make sure they're hip distance apart. Going to inhale, take your hands to your shins. Flat back, gaze forward, heart lift. Exhale, forward fold, straighten the legs a little, plant the hands, drop the head towards the legs. <sighs> Inhale, scoop the bellies, flat back, gaze forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, do that one more time. Move with your breath. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back and drop the back knee. Inhale to lift 
arms up to the sky. Check your front foot is far enough forward so your knee doesn't really oversail the front foot. Look to your back hand. Your foot and then back to reaching the arms and then spin yourself round the other way. Towards the other foot, reach up, look to your back foot, big inhale, reach both arms up, exhale, frame the front foot, press into the hands, step your right foot forward, left foot forward. And right foot back, left foot forward. Make sure you step the foot far enough forward. Deep breath in, hips sink down. Reaching up to the sky. Follow your hands with your gaze. Spread your fingers wide. Energize your arms all the way to the fingertips. Inhale, reaching to the left. Open the arms wide. Reach down towards your back foot. You make sure you're in balance, push into your front foot and the back foot, squeeze the thighs. Inhaling and exhale, reach the other way. Look down to your back foot, reach towards it, lift the arm up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, framing the front foot, moving mindfully and slowly. Stepping your Right foot forwards again, this time tucking the back toes. Come onto your spider fingers, lift the back leg off, squeeze into the thigh, send the gaze forward. So looking forwards, long neck, hold it here. Then planting the left hand down, let's circle the right arm. Five times each way, inhale up. Exhale down, follow your hand with your gaze. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Big sweeping arms. Waking the shoulder up, warming the body up gently. And then stepping the other foot forward, so right foot back. Come onto your fingertips, squeeze into the thighs, lift the chest, looking forwards about you as if you're about to sprint off. Plant the right hand down. Big circles. Left arm down now. Reaching up to the sky, reaching fully back, fully down, fully forwards. Breathing in as you reach up and exhaling as you reach down. Other way, when you're ready, five big circles. You should feel the legs really working here. Plant the hand, step, the, coming into a plank. Big step forwards with your right foot. Squeezing the thighs, take your hands onto your right leg. Stacking the spine up, push into the back heel, arms reach up. And then reaching the arms back behind you, then reaching up, inhale, exhale, reach back. Inhale up, exhale, back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Clasp the hands together. Frame the front foot. Right foot back, left foot forwards. Simply on the ball of the back foot so the heel is lifted. Squeeze into the thigh, take your hands onto your left thigh. Stack the body straight. Sink to the hips. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, you're reaching the body forward as you send the arms behind you. So you're creating that diagonal shape with the body and the legs. Inhale up. Exhale, reach back. Inhale up. Exhale, reach back. Inhale up. Exhale. One more. Exhale, hold it here, clasp the shoulders. Um, hands together, squeeze the shoulder blades. Plant the hands down, step the left foot back, back into plank. Hold your plank, couple of breaths. Step the right foot forwards. This time dropping the left heel down. Inhale into warrior one. And then into warrior two. I'm gonna turn around so don't have my back to you, warrior two. Look to your front fingers. Then inhaling, straighten the front leg. Look up to your hands as they come together. Then exhale, arms wide. Look to your front hand. Inhale, lengthen your front leg. Look up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale up. Exhale, sink down. You should be able to see your front big toe. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. And then windmilling the left arm overhead and then framing the front foot. Step the right foot back into plank, left foot forwards. Setting yourself up for worry one first. So drop the back heel, breath in, the arms reach up. First the hips face forward and then the hips to the side. Just check your feet far enough apart as you sink into your warrior two pose, Virabha Bhadrasana. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, look up to your hands, join the hands together. Exhale, flowing down. Inhale. Exhale. Follow your hands with your gaze. The front hand. One in and one out. Windmill the right arm overhead. Back into plank, hold it here. Stepping the right foot forwards again. Drop the back foot, windmill the left arm overhead and then coming into a goddess pose. So draw both the heels in, feet out, toes out. Sinking down, pulling the shoulder blades towards each other. Open the chest, spread the fingers wide. Breath in, reach up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach. Exhale down. Three more. Last one, and down. Reach the hands forward, straighten the legs. Now the feet are parallel, side to side. So left hand reaches to right foot, and then right hand to left foot. Reach the other arm to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to center and then bending the knees. Oh, clickety click, side to side with the hands down. Can you hear my ankles? <laughs> clickety click. <laughs> and then turning around, facing the front of your mat, plant your hands to the front, step the the front foot back, so now you're back in your downward facing dog. Big breath in, lifting your right leg to the sky. Look forward, bring your knee in towards the middle of the hands. Exhale, send it back. 
Inhale, same side, knee to elbow. Exhale, send it back. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Send it back. Then open the hip up. Draw some circles with the knee. Couple in each direction. Then three-legged dog on the other side. Inhale, reach the leg up. Exhale, draw the knee between the hands. Hover it above the floor. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, knee to same side, elbow. Exhale, send it back. Opposite elbow this time. Twisting. And then send it back up. Bend the knee. Draw a couple of circles in each direction. And then back to your downward facing dog. Sending your left foot out to the side. So you're gonna come onto the inside of your right foot and then reaching the left foot, kick the left foot to the side. Set your legs up straight, reach the arm to the sky. So you're on the blade of the left, outer blade of the left foot and the inner blade of the right. Drop the hips down, then lift them up one. Two, three, four, five. Replant that right hand down. Step the left foot back. Right foot steps to the left. Come on the inner blade of the left foot, the outer blade of the right. Lift the arm up. Drop the hips. One, two, three, four, and five. Left hand comes back down. And then coming down with the knees to the floor. Flip yourself over onto your backs. Rolling down onto your backs. You do just a couple of little ab exercises to finish off. Taking your hands to the floor, extend the legs. Roll the shoulders into the floor, push the shoulders into the floor. Palms the hands into the foot, extend the legs. Inhale to lower the legs. Not touching the floor, but get down very close to the floor. Exhale to lift. Squeeze the navel to spine, take out the hollow in the lower back. Inhale, exhale, that's two, we're going for 10. Inhale, exhale, three, four, Five, six, seven. If you need to take your hands underneath the buttocks, you can. The pelvis. Last one. Hug the knees into chest, a little rock and roll. And then some eagle crunches. Taking the right leg over left, the right arm under left. We're gonna eagle 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze, really hug it in. Release, opposite leg now, wraps over the top and the opposite bind of the arms. Ten, crunches. Exhale as you crunch it in. Hug your knees to chest. We'll rock side to side. And then I'm gonna do some dead bug. So opposite arm, opposite leg. So it can be left arm, right leg. Touch down. Keep pushing. The lower back into the floor. So going for 20. So 10 each leg. Ah. 
Hug the knees to chest. And now taking the legs, arms wide, legs at 90 degrees. Drop the knees to the left, look to your right. Take a breath in, then exhale, bring the legs to center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale to center. Inhale over to the other side. So keep going, do 10. Squeeze into the abs, pushing the arms into the floor. Fully activating into the obliques, into the lower abdominals. If you want to do a few with the legs a bit straighter. Just a little bit harder. Okay, last one. Then hug your knees to chest. And grabbing hold the outer feet. Little rock side to side, happy baby. Bring the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana, rock the hips from side to side. And then settle. Yeah, spend two minutes here. Left hand on your heart, right hand on the belly. Close the eyes. Take a little scan of the body. Do you feel warm? Do you feel awake? Do you feel your inner fire alight? So feeling the rising sun before you. Even though you can't physically see it, you can see it in your mind's eye. Seeing all those wonderful golden yellows, maybe purples in the sky as the sun rises. Feeling your energies lift, your spirits lift, energy flowing to every part of the body. Noticing the breath flowing, your prana, your life force, force flowing, your chi. Remembering your intention to, to yourself. Maybe repeat it here now. Slowly reaching your legs long, reaching the arms overhead. Stretch out the body, left side reaches long, stretch, 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 then the right side, left side, right side, rolling up or via the right side, coming back to your seated position. Just keep the eyes closed for another moment. So seated position, spine long and tall. Hands to heart center. Draw your hands together. Breathing in light. Exhaling darkness. Inhaling peace. Exhaling fear. Inhaling compassion. Exhaling non-judgment or judgment. So the inhale is actually non-judgment, so no judgment. Thank you for waking up with me this morning, the 2nd of December. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day full of energy and positive vibration. Enjoy your day. Take care and I'll see you here tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye.